my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. We are in the fifth week of Sunday in the season of Lent. According to the signs of the present situation and the exhortation of the Word of God to each one of us, we need to pay attention to our souls and examine and meditate on the status of the soul in our bodies and in the busy and fast-growing world. According to God's plan, life is a gift given to each one of us through our parents in a particular family. The readings of the fifth Sunday of the Lent reminds to each one of us and calling each one of us to understand the love of God to each children. That is the reason we all have the experience of God's steadfast love. And in the first reading, God who wants to make a new covenant with the people of Israel by saying, I will put my law within them and I will write it on their hearts and I will be their God and they shall be my people. And God is also telling us he will no longer remember our sins and he wants to forgive all our iniquities. That is the reason he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, into the world to save each one of us from the clutches of Satan and the evil people. At present, if we closely observe the people have lost the fear of God. The reason they are not obedient to God's commandments and the laws. The only reason we are not giving importance and we are not worried about the death of soul and we are just feeding the per perishable bodies depending and believing in our wealth and temporary goods and pleasures. The people who neglect God and worship their wealth and their bodies, forgetting the salvation, will surely experience the eternal suffering and punishment and will be thrown into the dark world of Satan. The world today is misleading the people with wrong promises and wrong teaching about God and his salvation and eternal life. The gospel passage we have seen Jesus Christ saying to his disciples, Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life will lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Here, many people may misunderstand about hating life in this world. The real meaning for hating life is loving God more than temporary life and believing in God for the eternal life. The world today is in a stage of confusion and lost, and it's because the people completely lost and the people completely believing in the human intelligence and technology which is very illusion. The more we are developing, the more we need to have fear of God and we need to live life according to the will and the plans of God. Then we will be able to hear the voice of God very clearly as we have heard in the Gospel passage. Because Jesus Christ is obedient and always glorified God the Father and did the will of God by sacrificing and offering himself on the cross and paid price to save and give each one of us the salvation and the eternal life. But all the people who give importance to the perishable bodies neglecting to save their souls will surely experience the judgment of God. And all those who hate their life in this world 
and believe in the Savior and the Lord of life, we'll have the eternal life and will experience the salvation of God in his kingdom. So my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, let us not be misled by this passing and temporary world and lose of our salvation. Instead, let us all have strong faith in our loving God who promised eternal life to each one of us in Him. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, we offer all the people who are not believing in you. We offer all the people who are neglecting their care for soul. And we pray for all our families. We ask this through Christ our Lord. May the Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.